I don't know about you, Dr. Ronchetto. I had a pretty good Valentine's Day. I was kind of busy, but even still, I managed to get all my little my little stuff in, and and we had uh, actually dinner a couple days before because I knew my Valentine's Day was going to be really busy. So I don't know how yours was. It was lovely. Thank you. Well, that's good. And, you know, Valentine's Day, I'm talking about this from the romance department because we are approaching spring. Yes. Which is... Um, which is oh because you're on mic three that's why we all moved around oh. somebody moved me around no you're good you're good yeah, okay. now we hear you I was like how come anyway <laughs> there we go they got they got moved around a little bit that's all got it. a little confused my geometry was off anyway but uh, yeah spring is in the air and um, dogs and cats now I know that it's not necessarily seasonal for dogs but this right. is the time of year that we want to really think about uh, the romance they're in and especially if we want to prevent uh, puppies and kittens what we need to look out for and uh, how soon should we spay or neuter our pets but there are, yes. there are different things dogs are pretty much it's easy they get to be about how old before you should uh, um, take them in for their <clears throat> They're changed. Get fixed, they yes. Get fixed, um, as it were. I recommend around six months of age for both males and females. Um, that is usually, you know, old enough that they're kind of growing up, they're becoming more mature, but you're going to catch them before the female's first heat, which is really important. Right. Um, and males, you know, you usually can catch them. Um, again, they've had that a little bit of testosterone influence, so they're going to get bigger and be a little bit more mature by that time. Um, but we're hopefully neutering them before any kind of behavioral issues start to arise. Because that's the main thing. I mean, I don't, I don't know how much it is for dogs and marking and stuff, but it's also getting out, trying to get out and find romance, yep. as it were. Yep. They and start humping people and objects and becoming... Tell it like it dominant it. and true. you know that's a that's a huge thing and even though owners. that can that can sometimes happen a little bit anyway from a dominance perspective especially alpha dogs that will do that even when they're snipped even yes. still there's also other health uh issues that come about as especially as dogs get older when they are not uh fixed absolutely neutered, right? yeah the, i mean by neutering them early then they can have a nice long healthy life and we don't have to worry about testicular cancers and prostatic problems and prostate prostate cancer and um that kind of thing so now it's very important male cats i notice is different they do a lot of marking is that right i mean yes. when they when they are not fixed and, yes. and and i will i am here to tell you uh if you probably already know this if you have a cat that you haven't fixed on time but uh your house will smell like a uh, yeah they, they don't seem to care where they're marking no <laughs> let's put it and, that way and it can be a huge problem and once they start it's Definitely harder, you know, even after they're neutered, it's harder to break them of the, of the habit. So right. neutering them early, hopefully before that kind of behavior starts, is always best. And they seem to find places to mark that you can't easily wash or clean. Thank you very much. Cats, right. you're very smart in that. But let's talk about female. And, and cats about the same thing, six-ish months old, or can they do a little yeah. bit earlier? Yeah, okay. I, I usually say about six months. It's, it's always the best. Yeah, I'm, you know, they're usually big enough because um, we like them to be around five pounds, you know, just easier anesthesia, a little less risky. Um, so around six months is, is usually a safe bet. Now, females are different. It's a little bit more of a, a complicated process, of course, because you're not just snipping off. You actually right. have to go in and perform kind of a surgery to, to be able to... Uh, right. To, We're actually opening up the abdomen right. to find and, what we need. And I want to talk about this because I was telling you off the air, the first time I had a cat and a female cat, I had no idea what to expect when she went into heat and I thought maybe she had been possessed by some sort of demon. Yes. <laughs> So uh, you want to catch that hopefully before they do that. Can now can you can you um, spay, spay them while they're in heat? Still you can absolutely yeah. you can spay them while they're in heat, both dogs and cats. Um, as you can imagine, because of the process, it just makes it a, a little bit riskier. Just for bleeding tendencies, things are more inflamed and angry in there. So we just have to be a little bit more careful. And what are we looking out for? So with cats, they 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 kind of do this uh, interesting little dance that they do and kind of make these uh, uh, yelling noises. <laughs> what yes. about what about dogs? Is there anything to look out for when they're in heat? Because I've I've never had a female dog that hasn't already been. Um, spayed right so dogs definitely are more subtle than cats like you said cats will do the little t 
tail right. wag dance and nice scream bloody it. murder yes. and <laughs> all, <laughs> all of those fun things. Dogs fortunately don't do that, but um, they do show some subtle changes. Um, if you have a an intact female around males, she may be um, more likely to let them mount her or do certain other kinds of you know, they'll, they'll show more interest in her. They'll do lots of sniffing and, um, it always seems to be when company is over as well, you know, introducing you to my in-laws. Oh, wow. Thanks. So, (laughs) and, and, um, are we talking, what, what's the age range six months or do we need to be older on, on females or? Um, it depends a little bit on the breed because some dogs will go into heat a little bit earlier than others. Um, but anywhere from six months on, so and that's it's always best to check with your veterinarian on all these things yes. to make sure a that that uh, you know also if you've adopted one make sure that they haven't already been spayed or neutered before you take them in to be spayed or neutered. Right, absolutely. And so it's always good to have a checkup on those things. But uh, of course, Cinema Veterinary, Veterinary Center located on Cinema Drive in Valencia, cinemavet.com and the phone number 661-253-9300. Friendly service from Dr. Jamie Ronchetto and her staff and ultra modern with online, uh, once you become a client, you can uh, do online uh, appointments and online uh, prescription things like that. Really super cool. So thanks again. Thank Always you. Always informative.